Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you're looking for undervalued investment opportunities, if that interests you, definitely click subscribe. I'm looking at the commodity sector. Uh, it is completely undervalued in relationship to anything else in, in compared to stocks and compared to real estate. It doesn't matter what it is. It's, it's cheap to everything. And I'm combing through, picking what I think are the best opportunities, these large asymmetric bets, tons of upside, limited downside risk. And what I do is I evaluate the living poop out of them <laughs> on this channel. Uh, you guys can see what I'm doing. You can see my technical analysis. You can see uh, ratio investing in terms of valuations. You can see absolutely everything. I've created this hypothetical portfolio for everyone uh, so that they can see what I'm buying, when I'm buying it, and the returns it's returning over time. What I, when I started this, I started this hypothetical portfolio with nothing in it. Uh, I didn't really have a set capital thing. I'm just kind of putting money into it to show you guys what the return is, how, I guess, how well of a chart reader I am and how well of a stock picker I am. It's kind of both of those things meshed together. And I'm showing you the returns over time. So January 8th was the first day of this year. We've we've had this, uh, it's gonna be almost four months now. So we're four months into it roughly. I have sold zero stocks and I've accumulated over time. Uh, the average holding period in this is probably two and a half months because I've been accumulating. I accumulated from nothing till today and this is the portfolio that we have. So let's look, you're gonna, I'm gonna shrink myself up, move me to the opposite side here. Uh, we have $194,000. I'm up 50, almost $54,000 in the portfolio. On a percentage basis, that's really what we should be focusing on is a 38.26% gain uh, from January. If we scroll down, we've got, uh, this is a, a copper uh, fund ETF that I added into. I've got a real estate, uh, sorry, not real estate, rare earth metals, uh, ETF, REMX, I like that one, uh, that I've added the most recently. We we got um, Anglo-American Platinum, it's down a little bit, just I recently added to that. PLG was one that we were, I was charting out for everybody, uh, said it was a very good buy. I bought some in the hypothetical portfolio of 27% already. Nova, I still like Nova quite a bit. This would be one I would add into right now. Uh, I, have, I think that's a great area to be adding into is Nova. DNN, Denison Mines up 16%. Africa Oil's down still a little bit. This was a Rick Rule pick, just to let you know. Uh, oh, Cisco Gold Royalty. Uh, so the royalty companies, they were all down. I bought them when they were down. That's Osisco, Ro Osisco Sandstorm Gold, Franco Nevada, Royal Gold, Wheat and Precious Metals, and Metalla. All of these I bought at the same time. Uh, in the portfolio, done pretty well. Freegal Ventures, uh, that one looked pretty good, tw up 25%. Leading Edge is the rare earth metal, up 5%. Uh, Global Lithium Ion, not too big on this one. Uh, if I were to cut it, I would cut this one, uh, just because it's a graphite company and it's a real small company. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not huge on explorers uh, in, in, in some of these areas. Uh, Two-door gold, I'd still hold on to that guy. Deep yellow, I would be adding into deep yellow for sure. I'm going to add it right now uh, because this guy is ready to roll, I think, very soon. So 0.54, uh, I'll just put in whatever shares I had before. Uh, I think this this is, this is, this is one's ready to, ready to roll. And in fact, you know what? Uh, I'm going to double it. I'm doubling my position here. Um, I'm adding double what I have in here already. Uh, Appia Energy up 50%. Westwater still kind of lagging. I'd still just hold on to it. Lightbridge, that one looks pretty good. Uh, that one, if you like Lightbridge, this would be a one to look into right now to add. Um, this is UU, you use pretty good, pretty good. It's up quite a bit, 50%. CB is up 160% when, from where we bought it when I first started talking about it and added it to the hypothetical portfolio. Next Gen Energy is doing very well, 43%. Fission, Global Atomic. Uh, these are all pretty high. I, I wouldn't add into them right now. Crew Energy, Antero Resources, Southwestern. I mean, these are all up quite a bit. Laramide's up 112%. Wow, it's pretty nice. 
Salt 32 looks really good. Um, this one right here, uh, I'm adding into it right now. It's at 11.2. What's that? I'm just going to double double down here. Salt 32 looks very good. It's about to break a chart pattern. Uh, this is Tseco Mines, 46%. Bannerman, Bannerman looks great. Uh, guys, I'm adding to Batterman uh, in the hypothetical portfolio, just to let you know. Uh, I'll add another 5,000 at 0 0.10. Um, so that's another 500 bucks. Oh, not $10, 0 0.1. Come on, come on. There we go. Lowered how much I was up. Uh, Trilogy Metals, Tetra Technologies, Fang, SM Energy, Blue Sky Uranium, Base load is down. I'm going to add in to base load right now at 37 cents. 0 0.37, 2,000 shares ish. So I added into base load. Uh, Pure point uranium up 50% today. My God, 86% or 82% up. Norilsk nickel, mosaic. I mean, these are all up pretty good. Recap is killing it. Uh, Encore Energy is very, doing very well. Uh, Ely Gold, I'm just looking at all these Centennial Developments, you guys know Sky Harbor, moving down Mux is up pretty good uh, Contango Oil and Gas is good Tutan, Oh, Tutan Resources isn't even up that much uh, I'm adding into Tutan Resources uh, because I like me some, kind of split this 2.11 so I added into Tutan, just to let you guys know uh FSM's down a little bit. They bought out another company. That's fine. Metallic Minerals, AG, AXK, DSBMF, Goviax. Goviax would be another one that you guys, if you guys, that's a good one too. EMX is good too. Uh, my kids were playing around this, <laughs> the computer. It did delete some of these, uh, two of the companies that were way up uh, on the bottom. It, it deleted, I think, Tellurian, GTE. They were all down here. They, they were playing around with it and it, it messed them up. Uh, but they did delete it, and I would still hold those. Uh, my portfolio is actually would be up more if I kept them in there, um, but I wouldn't have sold those. They were messing around with it, and I they deleted a couple of them. I think on this summary page, they clicked, 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 and deleted it. Um, so this would actually be up more, but that's fine, whatever. And uh, so we're up thirty five percent now that I put those. I, I added it, you know, added those companies in there. Uh, I think they're the best opportunities that I would be adding into. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. Uh, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.